songwriter who went from church choir <laughs> to a full-blown uh, music career. Now, she's largely influenced by such artists as Fela Kuti and uh, Shade, Asha, Tracy Chapman. Oh, Tracy Chapman. Mm -hmm. Aerosmith, wow. And, of course, uh, a couple of other people that um, have, you know, helped to shape her music. And she's joining us this morning to talk to us about her plans for 2019. Well, oh, we initially got to get her to sing, but, you know... <laughs> <laughs> she escaped that. So your single, Bamilo, is out. Yeah. Um, I listened to it. It's really nice. Um, Thank you. It, you know, it's a danceable tune. Like the video. Thank you so much. Not sure where it was shot, though. There were lots of People keep asking. Like, people are like, ooh, where was it? Was it was Cape shot Town? in Aja. Are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> yes. Wow. Okay. Nice. That, you know, nice. people, like, Nigeria is beautiful. You just yeah. need to find those... Do you know what I mean? Those, those spaces mm. that, that really show off the beauty. So a lot of people are like, oh, where was it shot? I was like, yeah. down the road, you know? All so right, like, so, so two years in music. I mean, you started yeah. in 2017 yeah. and, uh, you know, gradually you're trying to build your brand. Yeah. So talk to us about that journey. Oh, the journey. I mean, it's been a long time coming, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, uh, I've been singing since, you rightly said, from church choir. I, I've been singing since I was yay high. So church choir, school choir, anywhere that I had an opportunity to sing, mm -hmm. um, I would. And so then obviously education, high school, university. And then uh, I decided after trying my hand at being serious, <laughs> because people don't think music is a serious yeah. career. Um, but after trying my hand at, uh, at some other things and doing music on the side, right. music was always what I wanted. But I did it on the side thinking that that could work. Mm -hmm. Anyone would tell you that if you want to chase any career and actually music, it's two, four, seven. You yeah. can't give it 50, you can't give it even 90%. It's mm. 110, it wow. literally, mm -hmm. it has to be everything. So I, I made a decision that I couldn't do it on the side anymore and that I wanted to make it a, I had to really dedicate myself to it. Mm. So. And of course it was important for you to then come out with the, with the single in 2019 and then you yes. know, actually, start it, the Yes, actually, even Bamilot isn't my first single. Well, I, I know yeah, that, yeah, so um, I started off in at the end of, 2018, mm -hmm. but, uh, January 2018, with a song called Tenderoni. Mm -hmm. That featured Scales, yeah. another Nigerian art artist. And um, yeah, so, but even before that, I, I signed up with a new management company. Mm -hmm. I was based in the UK at the time. So, but you're based in Nigeria I'm now? Back, because people yeah. are wondering, is Where she I'm here? Is she oh, there? no, 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 I'm here. I'm back. Okay, so you're back. Right? <laughs> I am, yeah. Okay, so um, now that, uh, of course, the single is out, it's yeah. getting a lot of airplay. Yeah. And uh, you said you were overwhelmed. You, you didn't <laughs> expect this to happen. Yeah, no, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I think that, um, you know, you can make a lot of plans and you can think, oh, this is going to be the single or this is going to be single. But Bami Law just was one of those examples of songs that just took on a life of its own. Yeah. You know, I, it was written December 23rd of 2018, mm -hmm. like literally, I didn't want to exit the year without releasing any music. Yeah. So I said to my manager, listen, it's been too Let's long since Tenderoni. <laughs> yeah. Let's just make a song that, that just for those people who already know and love me and are like, where's your next song? Yeah. Let me just make something pretty. But then we sat down to make it and it just, it felt so good and I was like, oh. And then she, we were like, we made a decision that it needed something, yeah. you know. We were like, okay, it needs a feature. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, oh, who do you want? And I was like, well, I really, <laughs> really want to do a song with Ricardo Banks. I don't know if you, he's free or if he's available. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about Ricardo Banks yeah. as a song playing there. Yes. Uh, <laughs> because, I mean, it started at the beginning of January. Mm -hmm. Is there a romance going on and all of that? Right. And people are wondering, hmm, what's going on yeah. between you guys? <laughs> do, you, do you want to clear the air on that? I mean, you know when you don't even want to give something any attention? Yeah. But we did a song together. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? People need to not get so excited about seeing people together. Do you know what I mean? Okay, it, so it, we're friends and we made a great track. Friends. Yeah. So, so there's nothing there. <laughs> nothing because, whatsoever. You know, we saw the chemistry in the video. We're like, okay, I mean, guys. we're both professionals yeah. and we both adore the song. Like even the way it came about, I didn't think he would do it. Mm -hmm. But my manager sent it to his manager and they message back like within the hour, like we love the song. Yeah. So and I like that about him. People who do, he does music for the love of music. You know, he came I like in the, the song. Next I mean, day. it's a groovy song. Yeah. Right it's really, really nice. Thank uh, you. So two things I wanted to um, uh, talk to, talk about. Um, your surname is Otedola. So obviously, um, your father is, is a billionaire family Otedola, and he's well known mm. uh, locally, internationally, yeah. and all of that. So does that affect? Um, your brand as a person, or would you want to be a standalone yes. brand as Tolani uh, in your music? And then, of course, secondly, yes. your sister is DJ Kong. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think that 
uh, people are who they are. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I love my father. He's a great example. You know, he's a great... He's active on Instagram, my <laughs> God. <laughs> I know, I'm I've like, can I, can I get some lessons? Because <laughs> yeah. I'm not even as good as he is. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, it, it, he's super supportive of mm -hmm. both me and my sister, which is fantastic. Um, and it's, they're big shoes to fill. Yeah. But, you know, I'm not a... I'm not a oil mogul, yeah. I'm a singer. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's, uh, it's great to have someone who has so much experience in all aspects of life. Yeah, you know, and being, obviously he supports you. Oh he yeah, he does. Your work, you know, know both him and my mom are incredibly supportive of what we do. And uh, it's nice, you mm. know, not a lot of people. There once was a time where it wasn't so cool to be, to be a musician. Yeah. But you know, my parents are actually, they're actually slightly alter. They're mm. not your average. <laughs> yeah. They have those things where they're extremely traditional, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But in, they're quite, because they're both entrepreneurial, they're mm -hmm. quite like, chase your dreams. What do you want to do? Give it 110% and then go for it. it. Yeah. Really nice to have you join us. Thank now, you. next time, we're not going to, I mean, we're going <laughs> to ensure that you do perform. <laughs> yes, I would show. love to. I would love Bring to. Bring a whole band. I will. Dancers and No, everything. we're going to do it. Have that on show. Sure. Thank you so much for Thank joining you for us having today. Me. Uh, hopefully, uh, we're going to be looking out for all your. Uh, uh, all the records you're going to yes, be Yes, I'm releasing a new June EP in May mm. uh, or June. <laughs> okay. The creative so process can be, yes, mid year. Nice. But really nice.